Welcome to AWS Clue Data Brew Learning Series. My name is Harsha Tadiparthi, and I am a specialist principal solutions architect covering analytics at Amazon Web Services. This is part one of a four part series. And in this part, you will learn the fundamentals of AWS Glue Data Brew and how to self service loading data into Data Brew and begin your first exploratory data analysis without writing any code. In part two of this series, you will learn how to clean a data set such as handling nulls, imputing missing values, replace pattern in your data, filter transforms with window functions, and filtering between patterns in your data set, which are some of the common data cleaning activities in preparation to data analysis. In part three, you will learn how to enrich a data set using various commonly used transformations such as joints, pivot, aggregations, and union operations. In part four, you will learn feature engineering with outlier handling, categorical mapping, one-hot encoding, etc., and learn how to use recipes to run your first data brew job on your entire data set. Again, you will learn how to perform these tasks all without writing any code using DataBrew's rich visual interface. Data preparation is a time-consuming exercise that is often involved with multiple steps of data processing to extract, clean, and normalize data before any meaningful analysis can be done on that data. There are some tools in the market that simplify data preparation to some extent, but they are expensive and still require rework and moving data around between systems and network increasing your costs. It is often manual and hard to build a reusable workflow for your data preparation. It requires complex coding that needs developed and operationalized, which is hard to scale, and further introduces significant overhead for personas such as data analysts and data scientists who like to quickly get to analysis than how to deal with maintaining data pipelines. AWS View Data Group is a visual data preparation tool that makes it easy for data analysts and data scientists to clean and normalize data up to 80% faster. You can choose to connect to a variety of data sources, including custom JDBC connectors from a wide range of supported sources and normalize data with more than 250 plus built-in transformations that cover most frequently used transformations from a day-to-day -day standpoint. Due to the no-code visual interface, it's easy to onboard any users in your organization at any level of technical skill. You can build reusable recipes and monitor the lineage on how your data is transformed over time. Rich set of integrations with AWS SDK and API access enable seamless integration with data pipelines, and with serverless, there's no infrastructure for you to manage, which alleviates you of administration overhead and lowers cost with a pay-as-we-go pricing model. DataBlue Visual Interface is available via AWS console or can be embedded into a, a, a Jupyter Notebook or SageMaker Studio, making it easy to do the flexible interface for your data preparation needs. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at a demo to see how Data Brew can simplify your data preparation experience. This is the Glue Data Brew landing page. On the left-hand pane, there are a few options to consider. Dataset helps you connect to any of the supported data sources. Project allows you to create a workspace to perform exploratory analysis on your data using no code visual interface. Recipes gives you a view into all the recipes that are available for you to run on your dataset and also allows you to upload a custom recipe. Jobs gives you a single pane of glass view of all the data proof jobs in your account and helps you create new jobs. Now let's click on dataset to create a new dataset for this demo. If you have previously connected to any sources, your data sets will appear as a single pane of glass that can be reusable across your project and they will appear at the bottom. Let's go ahead and create a new data set to see what all 
sources are available for you to use. You can upload a file from your desktop or connect to any of the supported JDBC sources, including Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, Redshift, and Snowflake Connector for Spark at this time. These data sources can be located anywhere that you can connect to them using the JDBC connector from Databrew. You can also connect to the sources and tables that are previously created into the AWS Glue catalog. Databrew also integrates with AWS Data Exchange. AppFlow to connect to any of the supported SaaS providers such as ServiceNow or Salesforce or Viva, et cetera and also Snowflake as another source. For this demo, we have three data sources, product, sales, and customer. You can download these files and follow along the steps using the Git link found at the bottom of this video. Two of the three data sources are files, products, and uh, sales that are in formats Excel and CSV formats. The third data source, customer, is previously loaded into S3 bucket and a glue catalog is created prior to this demo. Now let's go ahead and create data sets for product and sales data. This is a common self-service scenario required by data scientists and analysts to quickly begin analysis on their data. Let's first create the product data set and give it a name. Now let's select the S3 bucket where Databrew will save this product's Excel file. Now select the format of the file, which is Excel. If you have multiple sheets in the Excel file, you should specify which tab or sheet number that you'd like to load. If there is a specific name that you'd like to use, you can also use it using this option. The Excel file we are uploading has a header row, so we're going to select the first bullet point. Um, that treats the first row as a header row. And let's go ahead and click Create Data Set. At this point, you can see the data set is created. Now let's go ahead and repeat the same steps for sales data set. Now let's click on the sales data set. Notice the S3 bucket you have selected earlier from where the data is being sourced. And when you scroll down, you can quickly see the preview of your data. Data profiling helps you understand your data set and decide what kind of data preparation steps you might want to run to gain insights. Let's go ahead and create a profile job. You can choose to run profile job on your entire data set or a sample of the data. We're going to run it for the entire data set for this demo. Select the S3 bucket where the profile output, which is in JSON format, will be saved. You can choose which columns of your data set you like to profile instead of all attributes or all columns, which saves cost and time it takes to run the job. We're going to skip this section, skip this step for this demo. As incremental data gets added to your data set, it is recommended to run profile job periodically using a schedule to keep your latest view of your data. We're going to again skip the schedule. Select a role that has access to both Databrew and the S3 dataset. And now let's go ahead and run the profile job. Once the profile job is completed, you can see a bunch of information from the profile output, such as total records, the total number of columns, any missing or duplicate data, uh, what's the correlation between one column with another, compare value distributions on each of your column data, and a bunch of column statistics for every column, such as data quality, a histogram with distribution of the data, and several other aggregates, such as min, max, uh, you know, standard deviation, outliers, etc. Column statistics provide column-specific view for the selected column such as data quality in that column, value distribution with distinct values in that column, outlier detection using Z-score, and few additional data insights on the selected column. This quick analysis enables data scientists and data analysts to understand 
what kind of data preparation steps might be useful for their actual analysis. Clicking on the data lineage tab helps you see the lineage of the data, how it was evolved, and what transformations were applied between different projects and the recipes that were created out of these projects and the jobs that actually were created and with and at what location. Now let's go ahead and create a project and start the analysis. For that, we click on create project. Let's give it a name. Let's select the data set that we just created, the sales data set. The visual analysis using DataBrew is always performed on sample data size, starting from 500 records all the way through a custom size of 5,000 records. And you can choose what type of those records you'd like to use between first rows, last rows, um, and rows, and random rows. We're going to select random rows for this demo and leave it at 500. Now we select the role that has access to, again, the data set and uh, add to run get approved jobs. Let's click on create project. Once a project is created, you'll see the data set in a grid view and with all the columns and the sample data size that you've selected when creating the project. There are 250 plus transformations that are available at the top uh, pane, as well as uh, on every column, there are transformations that you can click on the three dots and uh, select from the list of transformations that are available for you to use. The rich set of transformations include most commonly used transformation functions uh, that, are, that are used by analysts and data scientists day to day, such as filter functions, formatting on the data sets, changing date type formats, how to handle missing, missing values in a column, how to handle outliers in a column, several aggregation functions such as math functions, aggregations, window functions, etc. And for more complex operations, you can also use case statements or if conditions, pivot functions, join and union with other data sets that you have created and perform text operations such as word tokenization, uh, mapping, categorical mapping, and one hot encoding on your data set. And again, all of these transformations are available for you to use without writing any code using the visual interface. In parts two, three, and four of this series, you learn how to use various of these transformations to create analysis without writing any code. You have learned what DataBrew is and looked at some of the key capabilities it offers such as data profiling that makes it easy to understand data quality. You have also seen how the rich set of transformations make data preparation easy using a no-code visual interface. DataBrew's reusable recipes enable visual lineage that helps you monitor changes to your data. DataBrew is serverless and easy to use. With a pay-as-you-go pricing model, it offers a low total cost of ownership for your data preparation. With that, thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to tune in to part two of the four-part series, where you will learn how to clean data sets using AWS Blue Data Group.